Hello and welcome to this new countdown. This time I'm going to show you 9 Blender tips. Number 9. Let's say that you create some instances but you want to edit these ones individually. To do this you just need to select the instances, go to object, apply, make instance real. And now you have all the instances inside the outliner. Number 8. If you render an object but you want to make some improvement, you can always use the compositor the Blender has. And the first thing that you need to add is a viewer node in order to see your render. A quick way to add this viewer node is just to hold in down Ctrl Shift and click on the image socket. And now magically you will see the viewer node created over there. Number 7. Imagine yourself making a complex animation using particles, bonds, constraints and so on. And then you reach a point in which your viewport is lagging every time you hit play. But you want to take a look at your animation. A good option to have your animation is to render a preview. To do this, you need to first go to the output properties, select the movie format, Reduce the video quality for the render. Select the folder to send your preview. And finally, you just need to go to View, Viewport Render Animation. Number six. Sometimes it might happen that you move an object in the viewport and you make your object move so far that you can make it move back using the mouse. One option to make it go back is to select the object, press N to open the side menu and change the location to zero. But there is a faster way to do this. You just need to select your object, press Alt G and as you can see the object is back to the middle of the scene. Number 5. There are many ways to manipulate the camera. You could use the keyboard to move and rotate this one. You could use the gizmo to do the same thing or you could move the camera while you're navigating the viewport. To do this, you need to press 0 on your number pad, then press N to open the side menu, go to view and select lock camera to view. Now you can move the camera and the viewport at the same time. And once you finish, you just need to uncheck the lock camera to view and it will be done. Number 4. This is a small trick that you could use especially with lights. If you select an object like a light and then press Ctrl number pad 0, you will be using that object as a camera. Then you can select the lock camera to view to manipulate the object as the view. Number 3. Once in a while, you will be parenting a lot of objects inside another object. So this is a small trick that you could use if you have to select all the parents and the child. You need to select all the parents, one by one, and then go to select, select more or less, extend to child. Now you can move all the objects to a new collection if you need it. Number 2. There are some parameters that you can control with one object using drivers. For example, I have these four objects and I want to control the scale X for all of them at the same time. To achieve this, I'm going to use the cube as a master control. Let me select the cube and I need to go to scale X, right click on it and choose copy as new driver. Now I need to go to every object one by one, right click on scale X and select paste driver. You need to do this in all the objects that you want to control. Once you finish, you just need to go back to the master control, in this case the cube, and if you move the scale X value, all the objects will change too. Number one. This is a trick that you could use for organization inside the shader editor. You could use a node 
which is more of a socket to help you change the shape of your connections. Let me show you an example. Just hold down shift and right click and drag a line on one of the connections to create this node. Then press G to move it. And as you can see, you have like a small connection that you can move. Another thing that you could do with this is to make a connection for a group of nodes, like in this example. Okay, that's it for today's video, I hope you like it, if so, please click the subscribe button and share. Bye!